Welcome back Interior Alaska. Joe Cook here with your local Thursday sportscast. UAF basketball will be in prime time for the first time this weekend. Both Alaska basketball programs will be hosting GNAC Pac West tournaments on Alaska Airlines Court in the Patty Center. The men's team finished 1-2 and two in preseason play. They defeated Lincoln Christian University 103-55 on Monday night. Now they will go up against Chaminade and Hawaii Pacific. UAA is up in the banks. They will play those same teams. The men's games will be at 7.30 on Friday and Saturday night. The Nooks will play HPU on Friday. Senior transfer forward, Chavante Williams, a Mount Edgecombe product, averaged 13.6 points, 6.3 rebounds, and 3.6 steals in Alaska's three preseason games. He feels UAF will need to set the tone on one end of the floor to be successful in this tournament. I think for the most part we want to establish our defense and um, let people know that we're going to be defending the rim a lot and uh, just try to play hard and play together. This is two two games, you know, two West Region games with, with Hawaii Pacific and Chaminade and, and from the Pac West who, who kind of de dominated the GNAC last year. So it's a great challenge for us. We're excited to be at home and, and uh, you know, we're really ultimately trying to just get better each game and it's nice if you can get some wins along the way. Alaska's women's basketball team is hosting the GNAC Pac West Challenge for their first games of the season. The Nooks will take on Cal State Stanislaus on Friday at 515 and Dixie State University at 3 o'clock on Saturday on Alaska Airlines Court. This will be a nice warm up for a team with top returning players and newcomers who will make a name for themselves in their first year under head coach Cody Bench and new assistant coach Brett Sawyer. After this tournament, the UAF women will head to Hawaii for a trio of games next Wednesday. Other than a Minnesota Wilderness Series, I bet the Fairbanks Ice Dogs had this weekend series circled on their calendar for a while. The Ice Dogs will put their five game win streak on the line at home this weekend against the Janesville Jets. Now the Jets are one of just two teams to beat the Ice Dogs all year. Janesville beat Fairbanks 4-3 in overtime and 3-1 in Janesville back on October 9th and 10th. They come in with an 8-6-2 record. Fairbanks, the NHL's top team at 16-2-1, remembers that series and they want to ground the Jets once and for all. We got swept by them two games when we were in Janesville, and uh, we're pretty bitter about that. We got a pretty good record right now, and those are our only losses. We got to come out, and we know they're a big, fast team. They got some skill, but you know we've been working and preparing for to beat this team since we got swept by them. We got to make the most of our opportunities. I think that series is pretty low scoring for us, so we got to do a better job of figuring out ways to manufacture goals. They love finishing their checks. Uh, their goaltending is good. It's going to be a tough battle for us. And we lost two of them down there the last time we played them, so we're looking to get some revenge this weekend. Down in Anchorage at the state volleyball tournament, one of two interior teams won in the first round today. The Monroe Rams avenged last year's 3A finals loss to Mount Edgecombe with a five-set victory over the Braves. Monroe advances to the winner's bracket and they will play number one overall seed ACS this evening. West Valley suffered their first loss of the year to Wasilla. The Warriors went in five sets. The tourney is double elimination, so still good chances for both teams. The Wolfpack dropped to the loser's bracket and they will face Ketchikan tomorrow morning at 11 a.m. Latham hosted the Delta Junction Huskies on Wednesday in the only high school hockey game in town. Let's go to the Dipper. This non-conference matchup was relatively close after two periods. Latham's Colin King put the, mutes, put the mutes up one to nothing with his tap in goal coming just one minute and seven seconds into the game. This wasn't a route as a goalie duel formed between Abriel Champagne of, Del of Delta and Latham's Blake Gutting. Champagne made 40 saves while Gunning countered with 15. However, DeAndre Henderson's three assists helped Lathrop score at least one goal in the remaining periods, and Lathrop wins 4-1 and improves to 2-3 on the year. The recent snowfall in the past couple of weeks made for prime conditions for the first Wednesday night ski race of the season. 20 avid skiers went to Birch Hill to participate in the first WNR series of the season. Max Kaufman, he won the 5K race opener in 16 minutes, 16 seconds. Peter Delamere was second in 1709, followed by Tom Harwood. Mark Ross was the first master skier to finish seventh overall. Jane LeBlanc won the first women's race of the year, coming in in eighth place with a time of 20 minutes, 33 seconds. And she talked about her experience in the WNR opener. I think everybody worked really hard. I think 
for the first race of the season, of course, it's always kind of challenging to see what your fitness level is. You know, Wednesday night races are really fun because they're really low pressure and we get people of all abilities. And I think everybody's just out here to test their fitness. But usually it's a really supportive crowd no matter what. And um, we definitely enjoy each other's company. So come on out for the next one. And the next WNR race is December 30th. And that's it for sports tonight. Mike Schultz is next with your four with a forecast and we'll catch you next time.